Now to a health alert. If your throat is scratchy and sore, you're not alone. Hospitals across the country are reporting a rise in cases of strep throat in children. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, invasive strep A can be deadly. That's right, Andrea, and it's already taken 15 lives in the UK and two lives in the US. No reported cases in Alabama, but officials say it's definitely something to look out for as other cases of other illnesses continue to circulate. Uh, the strep that people typically think of involves a sore throat. It's very easy to treat with antibiotics, gets treated quickly, and usually doesn't lead to other complications. The president of the Alabama chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics, Dr. Katrina Skinner, says invasive strep A is much more serious. Invasive group A strep can cause things like a bloodstream infection, um, a flesh-eating skin infection, or... Um, you know, other severe problems like toxic shock syndrome. Invasive strep A can also cause lower airway infections like pneumonia and serious skin infections like scarlet fever. Dr. Skinner says there isn't really a set season for when we see spikes in strep. Kids, you know, I mean, they're in school, but then they're also in summer camp and they're always, um, you know, they're, they're always around one another. So every now and then we'll see kind of blips um, and the positivity rate. Dr. West Stubblefield says in Alabama there haven't been any reports of invasive strep A. He does say, however, it's something for doctors and parents to keep an eye on. Well, strep throat shouldn't have any symptoms that should overlap with a cold. Um, strep throat is a causes a usually a severe sore throat, um, fever, and um, and swelling in the lymph nodes in the neck. Um, so that in strep skin infections, generally it's going to be redness of the skin um, that's usually pretty rapidly progressive. Invasive infections are rare. According to the CDC, 1,500 to 2,300 people die from it every year. Dr. Kevin Michaels is Mobile County's health officer. He says if your child feels ill, you can get a rapid strep test from your local health care provider. Parents need to be aware that there's illness circulating in the community and, um, you know, evaluate their child each day to say, hey, are you feeling ill? Is it ill enough to take them to a doctor's office? The doctors tell me strep A is passed by contact with droplets from an infected person. So when the infected person talks, coughs, or sneezes, you're at risk for getting infected. Andrea.